Mo! <laughs> Top of the morning, Ben's pet. It's hey, hey, you up there? What you doing? What you got going on up there? Uh, it's a waterfall. It's a waterfall. <laughs> Hello, waterfall comes. What? <laughs> it's raining in California. That does not happen a lot. And so when it does, we get pretty excited about it for multiple reasons. But first of all, if this is your first time on the channel. We upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces here. But this video is uncut. And today's in cut, we're just excited about the rain because we've got snakes up there. Snakes in the oh, snake room over there. Let's go check them out. We are pairing them because as many of you who are experienced snake breeding may know, especially with ball pythons and uh, lots of other species that live in climates with rainy seasons that inspire breeding, uh, when the barometric, barometric pressure gets low, and the storms start to move in, it's really a good time to start pairing up your snakes because it kind of inspires them to do what they do in the wild, which is breed because they know resources are coming. Water brings life, brings resources, brings animals willing to breed and procreate because they instincts tell them, it's all right, we're gonna make it, we got resources. So, I'm probably gonna turn the camera around so we can take a look at all these things over here, all the snakes. See if, see if, there, see if we got any locks. See if this rain thing actually works. I promise I, I put these in here yesterday. I, put, I paired them yesterday. Haven't looked at them yet. And we'll see how well this actually works. We should have, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairings happening right now. I think if my cards are not lying to me. And uh, before we turn around, I just wanted to give a shout out to today's, uh, to all our channel, channel sponsors, Freedom Breeder, Morph Market, great companies to be involved with if you are breeding reptiles yourself. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Check this out too, I forgot to show you guys this. Somebody gave this to me at the Las Vegas Reptile Super Show. Pretty sweet, huh? Available for all. All you gotta do is ask. Um, okay. Some of you, a couple of you, are going to be sad because you're probably not going to see my sit face for the rest of the video, whereas the majority of you are like, bro, it's about time! Here we go. Let's take a look. First pairing here is going to be between our Coral Glow Piebald Oedipus. He's also 100% Het Clown, and he's going to be paired this year with Make Make, our GHI Mojave Het Clown. So we're looking for some really cool clowns that are going to be 100% Het Pied. And whether or not we got a lock is about to be... Nope, I can tell you right now. There at least, there's at least some heavy cuddling going on, but certainly no no lock happening in there. That's okay. At least get to know each other a little better. Maybe there'll be a lock there. Let's take some time, take some time. That guy is a proven breeder, so he definitely knows what he's doing. As are, I think all of them, all except for one of the males that we're pairing up this season, are proven, including this guy, who may or may not have GHI, yet to be determined. Um, he or she is not feeling it either. So, so far, rain is not doing anything for these guys. And they're, that's a yellow belly clown in there. That would also be a really, really nice pairing if it was to work out, which so far, it's not looking so good. <laughs> Good at all. Oh no. Okay, Anchi Clown Het Pied to our piebald Het Clown here. And I'll just take a little peek. There's her head. And there's him. And they're doing a super hard snuggle and not locked. Maybe, you know, I lied about the face thing. Maybe. Just maybe, since it's already been over 24 hours since I actually paired these guys together. Maybe they already did the deed overnight while, because it was raining yesterday too. And I just wanted to catch a moment when it was like actually like downpouring, which it wasn't. But it's like, we got to put the video out. So I, I need, needed to record. 
I probably should have come in here last night and looked. They're probably all locked last night. I don't know that for a fact. So when I mark down on my records, I'm not going to mark down that there were I witnessed a lock because I haven't. But I'll still at least mark down that where they were paired. So, you know, I think we've only got one double male pairing going on the season, meaning two males going to the same girl and the rest of them are going to be only seeing one male each as far as the females go. But anyway, sorry about that microphone noise. It's just part of the, it's part of the gig. All right, let's say Enchi Cinnamon Sunset to Cinnamon Het Sunset. And she didn't go last day. Okay, nothing here either. But yeah, maybe that she looks like she was. She looks like there's some evidence of like stuff was happening in there last night. I'm not gonna reveal how I know that, but I can sometimes look at a female's cloaca and be like, oh yeah, yeah, there's something in there. Um, not because I don't want to tell you. It's just I. I may just be full of it. You know, that's always a possibility. Uh, oh, there's no male in here. Why am I looking? Bimbo? I don't think I have put a male in here because, I mean, there's one male. The reason I'm checking is because there is one male that is in here that doesn't have a card yet. He's the one that's not proven. Spot nose clown. He's hanging out in another enclosure somewhere. And she lesser, Mr. Pink. Um, possible het sunset to a girl in there that he's, he's not locked to at all. He's just sitting there not doing anything. So far, zero locks. All right, we're doing great. It's going to be a real good season next year. The King, Coral Glow Pied to Champagne. Bubbles. Not a pairing that's strange for us, but a, a pairing that's strange for them because they're not uh, doing anything. <laughs> Never mind. Rain does nothing for pairing Glow Pied. No, seriously, again, I'd be willing to bet that the majority of these snakes locked last night, got their business done, and they've moved on to their separate ways and they're just ready to get back to their own tubs. That's probably what's happening here. Here's at least one lock, one solid lock between Bullwinkle, our Super Pastel Lesser, to our Purple Passion girl here. And they've got a nice solid lock going on back there. So there's at least one. That's nice. At least we got one lock to show you guys and we're not going completely empty-handed on the pairings. Where is that spot nose boy? I thought I was going to put him with Cindy here. Why is he not? Did I put him up here with Desi? I may have put him with Desi too. I was going to put him with two different girls this season. May have been up with Desi. Oh, yep. Sure enough. There it is. And these guys, you know, Looks like he was maybe in there already, or he's about to get in. All right, I'm gonna let you guys do it. I'd love to see some fire spot nose clowns from this pairing. That girl is the granddaughter of our original fire clown. Okay, well, I wish there was a way for me to do that without making a bunch of weird noise, but there's just not, so it is what it is. Oh, we're so bright now. Um. I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't think I missed anybody. I don't think I missed any checks. I probably did. But I don't think that I did. Let's take a quick look over here, shall we? Yeah, no, there's a couple other girls that I just want to wait longer because it's a little early for us. We don't pair usually until October. But since we had a rainstorm come in, it's like, got to take advantage of that. We never know how long it's going to, how often it's going to rain in California. So any chance we get when there's rain, it's like, let's get some pairings happening and I feel like there was one more thing I was going to talk to you guys about before we finish this video. I already told you about Freedom Breeder Morph Market. You guys know all about that. I'm going to be doing uh, some updates on some of the stuff that I'm going to be doing. Oh, uh, on Morph Market, there's an option to uh, add in animals that are not for sale. And there's going to be these breeding options and like pairing options. I mean, I will see the offspring and like all this cool stuff that I'll go over on this weekend's video. Um, as far as show, me showing you, I'm gonna take a picture of like all my breeders and I'm gonna get them all plugged into Morph Market's database and we'll go through that together and I'll show you like all the different things that you can do inside of the platform as far as organizing everything and then just being able to let customers see what kind of pairings you have coming up and what kind of offspring you're working with and who the siblings are, who the parents are, like who they're related to, like all this stuff. It's gonna be super cool, super cool. but. As for me, I think I'm done here today. 
And I'm just gonna assume that everybody locked and I missed it. And that's what happened. And you're gonna assume that, well, you can assume whatever you want. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Don't forget to get your cocoa blocks and we'll see you in the next video, which will be this weekend. Aloha.